So in this tutorial, I'm going to draw this patch football. And this is quite a tricky thing to draw in SOLIDWORKS because there's a very precise ratio between the side, sides of the polygons and the radius of the football. And if I just section it, you can see that's what we want to achieve in a few minutes. The curved inside and outside and all the pieces that hopefully are going to mate together with no interference. There are a few videos floating around showing how to do this. But when you actually assemble the um, model using their method, uh, the patches tend to interfere into each other. So we'll start off by uh, opening a new sketch and we're going to draw a sketch, let's say, on the front plane. And I'm going to begin by drawing a semicircle, which I will revolve into a sphere. There we go and I'm going to dimension this to be diameter 300 the football I want will have a diameter of 250 so I'm going to make this a little bit larger because this is for construction so there I have a sphere I'm now going to draw a sketch but instead of a regular sketch I'm going to do a 3d sketch and a line and I'm going to look at 90 degrees to the top plane and we'll draw something that looks approximately like a pentagon well it's a pentagon it's just not a regular pentagon and as you can see if I rotate around the points are not on the sphere so to make them just jump onto the sphere I'm going to hold control pick one of the points and pick the surface and select on surface pick the next point hold control pick the surface and select on surface and do the same thing with the remaining points and you can see all the points will jump onto the surface. So if I rotate around, you can see all uh, points are indeed on the surface. So now what I want to do is uh, make it be a regular pentagon. So I can simply hold control again and select all five sides and make them equal in length. That's a good start. Equal. And although they're equal, you can still see it's not a regular pentagon. So one way of doing that is to add a center line from the top down to the midpoint. And I wish I could select this line and make it vertical or horizontal, but that doesn't really happen in a 3D sketch. However, if I look at the triad down here, I can see the Z direction. The Z uh, arrow is moving up and down. So if I select this vertical line or the line I want to be vertical and select along Z it's the equivalent of making it vertical now if I wanted I could also add another center line from there over to midpoint there I'm not sure if I need this or not and hold control click both of those and make those equal and that's just a going to make sure it's a, it's a regular pentagon however it now um, still doesn't know what size to be and I don't know what size to make this so I'll leave that for a moment and I'm now just going to get my bearings and I'm going to move over to a different side and start a hexagon remember I'm still in the same 3d sketch but I'm going to join onto the edge here and complete a rough hexagon same rules apply, it's not on the surface. Now two points are, but I need to get the remaining four points, hold control, put that point onto the surface, that point onto the surface, and the same with the last two points. There we go. And of course it's a hexagon, so all sides, it's a regular hexagon I should say, so all sides need to be the same length. We'll make those equal in length <clears throat> so and we also want to try and get a, um, a few construction lines so let's get a center line and go from the corner there to the corner there in fact before I do that what we can do is hold control and select this line and that line and make those parallel um, I'm going to leave that for a moment um, because what I also want to do is do the one final hexagon over here and all this is just construction but once this happens the rest of the drawing will be done pretty quickly so this point needs to go onto the surface this point needs to go onto the surface and that didn't work there so we'll try this point go onto the surface I'll try that point again onto the surface uh, it doesn't seem to like that 
point going onto the surface. Let's just move it a little. Now there's an issue here, when I click that line, I can see over here there's an existing relation. That must have happened uh, accidentally, so I'll right click that and delete it. And hopefully now I should be able to put this onto the surface, and I am. So uh, if I drag that around, that's gone very um, out of sync, but still you can see the, um, the rough shape of the hexagon there. So what I'll actually do is click this line and that line and make those parallel. And I'll make all of those sides equal in length. Now we're almost there, but what I want to do is try and get this sketch fully defined. So I'm guessing a parallel relation there will help, yes. And a parallel relation between this one and this one. And we're set. Now you can see it's fully defined. Now, uh, the reason I was kind of guessing or just um, unsure there is because depending on how you draw them, sometimes you may have to, I'll, I'll draw it now, it may throw up an error, but sometimes you may have to draw a line from the midpoint of this line down to the midpoint of that line in the hexagon and another one, say, from over here over to there and make those equals. It doesn't really matter as long as you get the sketches fully defined. And the handiest way is to do that is either to make opposing lines parallel, uh, certainly make them all the same length, or cross the diagonals and make those the same length. So that sketch uh, really solves all the problems for us. Once you have that sketch, we've got a, a pentagon and two hexagons on the surface. Now it's true that the points are on the surface, obviously the line is not on the surface because you can't have a flat line on a curved surface. But once you have that, I'm now going to open up just a regular sketch on, let's say, the top plane. And I'm just going to draw a point in the center of the circle, right there. The entire sketch just consists of a point. Why am I doing that? Because now I can activate the Surfaces tab and do a lofted surface between the pentagon, pick all five sides. Now it should take a moment to actually pick that up. You can see my computer is thinking hard. And the midpoint. Okay, that doesn't seem to have taken. I'm going to try that again. Uh, lofted surface. I'll try the hexagon first of all. We'll select all surfaces there. And we'll move on and the point there we go so uh, and press ok that's the first surface now however when i do that the sketch disappears so over here i have a lofted surface so i can press the plus on that select both sketches again and make those visible again there's no point redrawing them now i can go and select lofted surface again and this time i'll try the pentagon select all five sides now what I forgot to do the last time with the pentagon was hit the green tick and then move on and select this midpoint. And there I have the second surface. So if I hide the original revolved um, solid body, I can see what I have. I've generated two lofted surfaces with zero thickness. I can actually turn off those sketches now because I'm finished with them.